In June of this year, Moscow played host to the launch of the official 2018 FIFA World Cup Volunteers program. Welcomed in by Russian President Vladimir Putin and FIFA President Gianni Infantino, the event launched a process that will see thousands of applicants vying for the chance to work at the tournament. It also introduced some of the individual host cities and their own volunteering programs. In Yekaterinburg, over 5,000 applications have already been received for participation in 2018. At the city's Ural Federal University, prospective volunteers are being trained up in preparation. We started getting involved with volunteering at the university in 2005. Back then, the majority of events were of a social nature, working with orphanages, veterans, things like that. Now the volunteers from our centre have worked on over 500 different events, both sporting and cultural, and of both regional and international importance. Our primary goal at the centre is volunteer training. We understand that it's not just about the desire to be a volunteer, it's also necessary to have a certain level of competency in order to help the organisation of key events to a high standard. At our training, we don't just have volunteers, we also have our future, the guys who will soon be our leaders and managers. They will be in charge of managing small groups of volunteers at the World Cup. With over 30% of applications to volunteer at the 2018 FIFA World Cup having been received from outside of Russia, and no age limit on applicants, training centres like the one in Yekaterinburg are essential in ensuring success. Today was an introductory session at training, the main objective of which was to provide all of the guys with some important information, but more importantly, to motivate them to study English. The training was really great. The guys who at the beginning were intimidated by the idea of communicating in English and expressing their points of view, by the end were free and comfortable. You could also tell they were really fired up about learning the language too. And I think in 2018, when they meet foreign guests or media, they won't have any problems. I think the volunteer programme of any large international event, including the World Cup, accounts for more than 50% of the event's success, because a volunteer is the face of the event. There's already a feeling of patriotism, not just from me personally, but from all of our volunteers, and the people of the city who perhaps don't yet understand how huge this event is. We are all aware, though, that something unbelievable awaits us in 2018.